The question was about scanners at ports. After eight years, the port authorities are only scanning or, or inspecting 1% of shipping containers leaving our ports. And that led to the case where Mark Roos had his 2021 Dodge Ram stolen. Luckily, he had an Apple AirTag so he could follow its transit to the port of Montreal, where he knows it to be. He called both the cops and the Port Authority, both of which said they don't know which box it's in, so they can't find it. So why won't he accept my common sense plan to buy 24 scanners so we can scan the boxes, find the Dodge Ram, and give it back to Mark? Yeah. Yeah. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, this would be perhaps a little more credible from the Conservative Party if they hadn't cut a thousand CBSA officers when they were last in government. And they'd proposed to cut 400 more uh, if they had won the 2015 election. The reality is we restored every single border officer they cut and added 800 more. And we're continuing to do the necessary work. While Conservatives cut uh, frontline border services officers, as, along with cuts to the RCMP, cuts to police forces across the country. We invested in them, and we're going to continue to do that with $121 million for Ontario, more investments for port and border security. We're going to continue to step up and keep Canadians safe. Here, here. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. You know the Prime Minister's strength is not math, but the facts are that we took office. There were about 12,000 working as CBSA officials, and when we left office there, was there were over 14,000. Oh. So 14,000 is more than 12,000, oh. to help the Prime Minister, with the numbers. It's true that we cut back office bureaucracy and high-priced consultants, which he has ballooned, and that's why after eight years he has increased auto theft by 32 percent. Will he accept our common sense plan to cut high price consultants and hire more frontline inspectors? The right honourable Prime Minister. I can't help but smile when the Leader of the Opposition talks about high-priced consultants because it's his campaign being run by a high-priced consultant for Loblaws. When he stands in this place and across the country uh, wrenching his heartstrings uh, about the, the uh, prices the Canadians are paying for groceries, when his top advisor is in the pocket of Loblaws giving him the same talking points as she gives Galen, Galen Weston when he appeared at Parliamentary Committee. Mr. Speaker, if Canadians are going to believe this leader of the opposition, he needs to come clean with who is funding his organization. Sure, getting desperate if he has to blame Conservative campaign workers for the fact that he raised food prices, especially when, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister's new marketing director, Max Veliket, did marketing for Loblaws for four oh. years. Oh. Don Guy, Don Guy, the Prime Minister's chief pollster, works for GT and Co, which collects checks from Loblaws. Oh. As does Dan Arnold, his other pollster, getting checks from Loblaws. Are they the ones that forced him to quadruple the carbon tax on our food? Oh. You can tell it's Wednesday because this morning uh, the members of the Conservative Caucus got to hear directly from Jenny Byrne, who sits in their caucus with them, uh, giving them advice. So that is exactly where they're coming. When she is actively on the Loblaws payroll, while at the same time feeding lines to the Leader of the Opposition uh, about food prices and concocting uh, a theory around carbon price uh, and grocery prices that, as the member from Regina, Louvain, pointed out yesterday, has no basis in fact, we see the kind of torque he chooses to pull. Mr. Speaker, he makes it too easy. He talks about caucus meetings and law laws. Get this. The Prime Minister had someone who is his director of caucus services named Julie DeWolf, who is now a lobbyist for law laws. <laughs> a lot of dirt. His chief dirt, dirt digger, Kevin Bosch, left his office so that he could go and work as a lobbyist for Loblaws. <laughs> Would he like us to continue going down the list of all of his Loblaws lobbyists, Mr. Speaker? <laughs> It is quite something to watch the flailing of the Conservatives right now as they do anything to try to distract from the fact that their campaign manager
manager, their, the leader of the opposition's top advisor is and still, uh, still contrib gets contributions and paychecks from Loblaws. This is an issue. When he has stand stood up and pretended to care about food prices, when we hear the exact same talking points come out of Galen Weston's mouth as out of the Leader of the Opposition's mouth on some invented connection between the price on pollution and grocery prices, we know exactly who is behind the Conservative Party.